basal kila or the fortress of a, a, a bamboo was made of bamboos and mud okay bamboo and mud and it is said that muinuddin muinuddin was made the minister of titumir titumir made muinuddin m i n u d b d i n muinuddin his minister and uh, titumir's nephew named gulam husain he was made the general okay he was made the general to collect the revenue from the from in and around uh, 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 villages okay after that it is said that uh, when the zamindars were persecuted by the hidayatis and under the leadership of titumir so uh, hidayatis uh, hidayatis demanded tax they had looted their homes and uh, uh, and all these uh, uh, all these things they had done and uh, opposed the opposed the opposed the uh, uh, land lenders uh, indigo planters and all that so uh, the relation between titumir and english became very bitter and ultimately what happened ultimately what happened that under the leadership of uh, uh, under the commandment of uh, lord william bentinck lord william bentinck in the year 1831 uh, the soldiers were sent to destroy the Uh, uh, destroy the destroy the uh, basal kila okay and ultimately we see that english had come with a ca- cannon shell and they had destroyed the uh, 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 basal kila okay in that about 350 and uh, 350 hidayatis were arrest, arrested most of them were killed and uh, uh, muinuddin and gulam masur they were also hanged to death okay and Mir Nasir Ali also died uh, in that in that skirmish between between the soldiers of uh, Lord William Bentinck, Lord William Bentinck, and uh, them. Uh, we see that Titu Mir died. Okay, in the year eighteen hundred thirty-five. Afterwards, if we go to discuss about the nature, nature, if if, if we see nature, one historian is there, uh, Doctor Kiamuddin Ahmed. Kiam Kiamuddin Ahmed. Kiamuddin Ahmed had had written a book. the wahabi movement what he said what he said about wahabi movement he said that it was a national movement dr kiamuddin ahmed he had written a book the wahabi movement he had called the wahabi movement as national movement afterwards the another nature if you go to see it was a a secular movement it was said by fasiuddin fasiuddin and professor bb choudhury Professor Fasiuddin and B. B. Chaudhary had called the Wahhabi movement a secular movement. After that, another historian, very important historian, R. C. Majumdar, Ramesh Chandra Majumdar, what he called, he called this movement as anti-British movement, anti-British movement, anti-British movement. And other historian, Abhijit Datta, Abhijit Datta had called this Wahhabi movement as reform movement, reform movement. and another historian he had very beautifully expressed about it he is known as bihari lal sarkar bihari lal sarkar is very famous why because he was the biographer of kitumir what he called he called this movement as a peasant revolt with anti imperialist character uh, bihari lal sarkar the autobiographer of kitumir he called he called wahhabi movement as a peasant revolt with anti imperialist character with anti imperialist character there's another historian by the name of w c smith he called the wahhabi movement as religious uprising this was the nature if the nature comes you will write down after that failure if you go to see the failure failures lackness of organizational skill number 2 we will see that uh, the uh, hidayati or titumirs uh, titumir used traditional weapons we see that uh, uh, the uh, means wahhabi movement in bengal religious narrow mindedness was there religious narrow mindedness was there why because we see that lower class hindu participated in it lower class hindu and muslims participated all were peasants okay so we will not discuss about it but religious narrowness was there illiquid weapon 
the wahhabis did not have modern weapons okay and lack of support of upper class hindus upper class hindus did not participate or did not support the wahhabi movement after that we see that the uh, uh, british government they had superior quality of quality of quality of weapon they had their strength they they had they were equipped well equipped with superior quality of weapon so what we have discussed today we have discussed about wahhabi movement of 1831 to 70 we have seen that the what is the meaning of uh, wahhabi renaissance or renaissance of purification that we have seen and wahhabi movement is also known as tariqa e muhammadiya path as shown by prophet muhammad and sayyid ahmed barelvi was a real founder of wahhabi movement in india and about his achievements we have seen plus we have also seen barasat rebellion or wahhabi movement in bengal about barasat rebellion about titu mir's achievements and his contribution for the wahhabi movement of barasat rebellion i have discussed nature i have discussed and failures i have discussed so i hope you have liked the class if you have any problem write down and what information i have provided you i hope you might have written you must have written in your noted down in your copy if you have any question related to this comment box is there write down in comment box okay so till today thank you very much see you again in next class